from civil engineering to mechanical engineering and then from CS to AI ML. There are a lot of engineering branches which were introduced like information science, electronics and communication, electrical and electronics, then electrical instrumentation, biotechnology, aerospace engineering, aeronautical engineering, artificial intelligence and machine learning and many more. Now you may ask what is the difference between computer science or information science or uh, electrical and electronics engineering. So I'm going to give you a small difference and the main differences between these branches. So regarding the code, so what you are going to learn in computer science engineering. So in computer science, it is all related to the programming part, to the hardware part you're going to learn, the software part, design, data structure and algorithms. So these are all are the things which are coming under computer science and which you will be learning after you take this course. So that is why every Everybody is behind computer science because apart from the specialization you will be open to variety of fields so as I said you will be knowing about the programming so about the hardware also you are going to learn a little bit about the software also about the designs and all so apart from this there are many other subjects which are included in computer science so as I said this is main what you are going to learn in computer science and when it comes to information science and engineering so here in karnataka what we say it as information science and engineering but when you go to the iit levels or nit levels you may find it as information technology so here we have information science and engineering so in information science what you are going to learn is all about the data collection the storage data analysis the applications and the software so software related to your phones like the applications what you build so mainly it is concentrated on the storage and the inf storage of information and the data analysis so this is all about the information science and when it comes to electronics so electronics will be having about the networking part about the chips and circuits you are going to learn about the communication systems about the hardware so as i said in information science you will not be learning about the hardware part whereas your major subjects will be on your software parts as software in the sense your applications your apps your data analysis or your information storage and in electronics you will not be having uh, subjects related to the software part you will be having less subjects of that but main it will focus on networking and the chips as i said circuits so circuits in the sense you can see a diagram over here in general what we call it as the mobile parts you might be knowing about the motherboard or the chips or the semiconductor chips so all these so the study of all these things comes under electronics and communication or it might be electrical at some part so as I said in information science you not are you are not going to learn about the hardware part but in electronics you are going to learn about the hardware part but in the beginning itself as I said so in computer science you will be having you will be having subjects of both hardware and software so as I said it is an all round type so, so that is why most of the students prefer computer science because it it opens a wide range of options or wide range of field in your future so regarding in ac so there are a lot of examples where, where the electronic students also get job in tech companies so how how is this is possible so this is possible when you learn programming at your own when you do certifications on programming so when you do related things as uh, the programming and the coding part if you learn it all and so if you clear that you can even easily go in uh, tech companies as well as you can go in core companies as your main branch is electronics you are always open to the core companies but if some electrical student wants to go in tech companies you can go easily if you know the coding part and the programming part and the software part of computer science so this is all about the courses what you are going to learn regarding the syllabus so regarding the syllabus of all the subjects in engineering or all the branches it will be 70 to 75 percent same except some few semesters you will be having as your specializations so what i said in the earlier beginning of this video there are many other specializations has their main branches such as computer science with cyber security computer science with data science computer science with iot computer science with business system so what all is this the main difference between the core computer science and the computer science with other specialization is in core computer science you will be choosing your specialization in core computer science you will be given an option to choose your specialization so 
so according to your interest you can choose your specialization but whereas if you are choosing computer science with data science or computer science with artificial intelligence so in the beginning of itself you are very clear that you want to work in artificial intelligence only so that you are open only to artificial intelligence so in the beginning itself you are going to choose it as uh, artificial intelligence so what i mean is in the beginning itself you are going to choose artificial intelligence as your specialization rather than choosing in your semesters uh, in the beginning part only you will be going with artificial intelligence and you will be having subjects more related to ai only whereas it's same with cyber security or same with iot same with business system if you if you are working on this your syllabus will be same but your major subjects will be on your specialization so this is all about the computer science and the computer science specialization you can go in any branch it all depends on your interest and uh, not only interest but many of the students will say that apart from your interest it all depends on your uh, placement so, so in the beginning itself we want to know about the placements which branch has good placements does ec have good placements does uh, information science have good placements or not so this all the questions will be running in your mind but the thing is you have to choose it very carefully it not only depends on your branch but it always depends on your skill so at some rare cases uh, apart from the course and the curriculum what you are going to learn in all these branches so it depends but it mainly depends on your talent on your skills so if you have skills as i said if you are an easy student and if you are good at coding if you learn it then you are anyway open to the core companies but you are also open to the tech companies so here you will be having a wider range so that is why i said your skills matter so always focus on your skills it doesn't matter whatever branch you are going to choose you should be very good in your skills so that at the final interviews your skills will be measured your talent will be measured and the knowledge what you have will be it depends on your communication skills skills in the sense it not only communication skills but the way you talk the way you represent yourself it all depends on that way and in technological part in technical part you should be knowing some you know uh, programming languages if you are uh, ac student or if you are core cs student you you will be obviously learning it all in the course and the curriculums only in c c++ python java javascript you will be learning in your curriculums only but here you have to focus on if you want want to go in artificial intelligence you have to focus on the specializations on that you have to do some courses some certifications you can do related to cloud computing or artificial intelligence so this is all about the courses and you can go in any field it depends on you if you have interest on any other branches you can choose that and you can work on your skills so that so that you can easily go with the placements in your future so this is all about the differences between the core branches of uh, engineering so if you are visiting the channel for the first time please Please do subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out the upcoming notification and if you like the video share it to your friends so i will be meeting you all in the next video thank you